Family, we are in second and short. Did I hear a whistle? I didn't hear the whistle. <laughs> there it is. There it is. We're in second and short. Chiefs wide receiver Miko Hardman. We all know him because he scored the game-winning touchdown for the Super Bowl. But before he was on the Chiefs, he was on the Jets this season. And he threw some shade talking about his former team. He didn't hold back at all whatsoever. Here's what he had to say. Go to quarter pin the big board, please. He said, look, the offense is just like, we'll just figure it out. It's Aaron's show. Let Aaron do what Aaron does. Then when Aaron goes down, it's like we don't know what to do. Miko Hardman, wide receiver for the Jets, leaves, joins the Chiefs, and he lets us in on the secret of the chaos that occurred. I got Aaron Rodgers' former teammate, James Jones. Yeah. How big a deal is this, the chaos that Miko's letting us into <laughs> on the Jets and Aaron Rodgers? Um, number one, I believe he's right. The offense was going through Aaron Rodgers at the Green Bay Packers. Coach Mike McCarthy came into the team mean room. He said, Aaron Rodgers, the football is yours, right? You can get us in the right play. You can change plays. In the huddle, he knows exactly what plays he can get to that is going to benefit against the defense. So when you lose a guy like Aaron Rodgers who can do all that, I can see what he's saying that you can be kind of lost. Zach Wilson comes in there now. He doesn't really have full control of the offense. Can't change plays at the line of scrimmage. Can't get in the huddle and say, listen, I heard this play, but listen, they played us man to man last time on this down. This is what we're doing. I understand that. That's a coach having a great quarterback putting the ball into his hands. That's been Aaron yeah, Rodgers. Let me get time. His whole let me MVP get time. Let me get time. Let me get time. Brother. But how big an indictment Thanks. is that on the Jets then? Because because if you are the Jets, you acquire Randall Cobb in large part because of yes. Aaron Rodgers. You acquire Alan Lazard in large yes. part because of Aaron Rodgers. You acquire Nathaniel Hackett maybe in large part because of yes. Aaron Rodgers. Nathaniel Hackett, Aaron Rodgers, often the coordinator when Aaron Rodgers won two of his MVPs in Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers goes down. Yeah. Take a seat. Uh -huh. Now you have no team. Now you to me, coach. that's an indictment on the coaching staff because you put all of your eggs in the Aaron Rodgers basket, then you lost the basket. Yeah, but when you have a special player, that's what you do. If I have LaShawn McCoy in the backfield, in the back of my mind, I'm not saying, man, he's going to get hurt. No, I'm saying, man, how can I create opportunities to get LaShawn McCoy the ball 30 times? If he get hurt, I'll figure all that stuff out later. And that's what happened with the Jets. You have a special player in Aaron Rodgers at the quarterback spot. The offense is yours. We've seen Aaron Rodgers get up to the line of scrimmage, and they bring him blitz, and he like, back up. You ain't coming. And he ain't coming. That's, that's how smart Aaron Rodgers is. That's the type of player Aaron Rodgers is. So hacking being with Aaron in Green Bay, he's like, bruh, ooh, I'm glad to see you. The offense is yours. Make everybody right, and that's what Aaron Rodgers does. It sucks he got hurt, and Zach had to come in, and like they say, now you got to come. What y'all didn't see off camera every time James Jones said LaShawn McCoy got hurt, Knocked on wood. I'm healthy, coach. That's why I'm going to get you to rock, brother. Oh, uh, well, that was not all Miko Hardman had to say about the Jets' culture. More of what he had to say. Take a listen. Play, hold on. He made plays. He made plays. He did make some plays. He made plays. First team's on. He made plays. But, Shady, although he made plays, Joy, to talk about your former team, who really isn't even in a conversation, but you made them relevant, some people think it's out of line. Was Miko Hardman out of line in your mind for calling out the Jets? No. The Jets have the longest stretch without a playoff appearance in the NFL. 13 seasons, seasons they haven't made the playoffs. They need some advice. One, three. It's 2010. One, three. They, they can need all the feedback they can get. Ooh, wow. Yeah, they can use it. Yeah. Here's the thing about the Jets. It's the Jets. Mm. Mm. I mean, what you want me to say? What did I just say? It's the Jets. They don't make the playoffs. They don't win. They don't win. Ooh. They they bring in a player, then they bail on the player, then they then they got other players wearing T-shirts with the backup mm. quarterback. Yeah, they did do that. that then, they, then they reset it. Then they bring in Aaron Rodgers. Mm. Then they don't get another backup, mm. even though he's pushing 40. Mm. Mm. That all happened. They do draft high, though. They get at that, though. They, yeah. they do they be drafted. Draft. Every year, they're going to draft high. Draft. Be drafted. That's true. Every year, they're going to draft high. <laughs> they are going to draft high. We're, top five. We're going to mm -hmm. hear this in the 2024 <laughs> NFL draft. I don't, what, what do you want me to say? This is just not, maybe what he's saying is true, maybe it's not. This is his experience, mm -hmm. right? I, I, I don't necessarily doubt it because we watched a lot of this play out. Everything I just said. This is, this is not a well-run organization. It can't be. You can't have the longest stretch without a playoff appearance in the NFL and then simultaneously argue with me that you run things well. You don't. There's all kinds of chaos with the quarterback position. Okay, you make a move, bring in Aaron Rodgers. No one blames you for doing that. It's Aaron Rodgers. No doubt. Of course, all right? We're talking about you guys are going to the Super Bowl, your Super Bowl contenders. My brother James here is picking them to go to the Super Bowl. We got faith, all right? Faith. <laughs> we, got, we got faith.
faith. But what happens? He tears his Achilles. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, Nathaniel Hackett. All right, Nathaniel Hackett, it's on you. Coach. It's on you, coach. You, you, who everyone's everyone's sticking up for, talking about it wasn't you in Denver. True. Right? All right, now it's time to coach. Mm -hmm. You had Aaron Rodgers, who's an all-time great, who the offense is designed around, who you can go through, who can make these incredible decisions and read defenses and is a veteran, is a Super Bowl winner, is a four-time MVP. Cool, 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 cool. Well, now you got Zach Wilson. Now it's time to coach. Now it's time mm. to earn your money. Mm. That's right. Now it's time to earn that check. That check that everyone was standing up for you for, which was not your fault in Denver, right? Because you had a Super Bowl winning coach there, too. Mm. What do you want me to say about the Jets? Mm. This is surprising to anyone? Okay, maybe this was his experience, but there's nothing about this organization that they can stand on and say this is outrageous. Yeah. What are we talking about? We watched this happen. I don't think Zach Wilson is a great player, but you lost your starting quarterback, coach. Yeah. Who won the coach of the year this year, James? Kevin Stefanski. Why did he win coach of the year over D'Amico Ryans? Four or five different quarterbacks. What happened? What did they do? They what, did the, what did the Cleveland Browns do? They went, went to play. What is Robert Sala? Players? Where is Robert Sala? What is Robert Sala? He's a defensive coach, correct? Mm -hmm. Big-time defensive coach. Do they have big-time defensive players they do. in the New York Jets? They do. What is Mike Tomlin? Defensive coach. He's a defensive coach. They have big-time defensive coaches on for the You're Pittsburgh Steelers. Do they have right. a great quarterback situation in Pittsburgh? Uh, nope, because uh, we're uh, talking uh, about uh, Russell Wilson <laughs> potentially going there. My point is, why is there always an excuse with the New York Jets? Mm. Maybe it's just this isn't really that good of an organization. Mm. They're a little dysfunctional. Right. And this isn't really all that surprising. So when I heard what McCole said is, what did he say wrong? So you take a kid, a young kid at that, He's been, in his five years of playing football, his only five years, he's been in four Super Bowls, yeah. playing for the best coach to ever play, to ever coach this game, mm -hmm. right? Let's just not even say that. Let's say the best coach right now. Yeah. Your quarterback. People, some people think Aaron Rodgers is such a great quarterback because mm -hmm. he's, he's a great talent, great quarterback. Well, Patrick Mahomes ain't, ain't, ain't no chump. He's pretty, pretty good. Very good. So if I go from one place and I see how it's ran from the top to the bottom, mm -hmm. I see the quarterback that's running the show. So then I go to New York City and I go to the Jets. Now, Joey just told you what they do, right? They don't really win, they don't want the playoffs, they don't do none of that. And I'm looking at two different, like, hold up. They ran it this way over here and this way they do a lot different. Okay, they win, they lose. What's the problem, what are you saying? Yeah. And then when I talk to him on a one-on-one, -on -one, that's my young boy, when I talk to him one-on-one, -on -one, he said the same thing, like, yo, over here, they just do what they want, yeah. right? There's no discipline. Andy Reid, mm -hmm. I don't care if it was Sean McCoy, Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey. Yeah. We can be cool and have our own personal, you know, relationships, but I want stuff ran a certain way. I'm no detailed with everything. No we're going to practice hard. We're going to do this, the, everything the right way. You go to New York, let's let Aaron Rodgers do everything. Mm -hmm. Like he's some type of winner. Mm -hmm. Let's just keep it real here. Uh -oh. you, have a super, you have a superstar, great quarterback, mm -hmm. and you put everything on him. Everything he talked about, how, like, you know, it's Aaron's way. Mm -hmm. Well, what's that way get you? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. What's that way got him? Mm -hmm. Some MVPs, not no championships. Oh, well. Four MVP, that's cool. Some regular, that's cool. That's great. My man got five years, four Super Bowl appearances. Yeah, that's crazy. You see what I'm saying? So the Jets should do this. Hey, McCall, what they doing over there in Kansas City? <laughs> <laughs> Give us some tips. Because he's a smart kid and he's just speaking on, he wasn't even hating on him. He's just speaking on what he's no seeing. And it's like, how can we be a, a functional organization? How can we be a winning team if we're not running this thing the right way? You, and the best thing they should have did is took some advice and asked, how they doing it over there? You, you know, my mama always used to tell Who me. Who mama used to say? Mama mama always used I love to mama. Me, Boy, you're spoiled, right? Go over there to their house. <laughs> See how it's ran over there. See if you're going to get breakfast, lunch, and dinner over there. That's all Miko saying. You coming from a mansion with Andy Reid and Patty Mahomes of structure, mm -hmm. of how it's ran. And now you're going over here with a young coach in Robert Sala, and you're like, dang, man, the structure is not like this. This is not how a championship organization is run. I could feel him on that point. When I left Coach Mike, and I truly believe Andy Reid is a better coach than Coach Mike. Obviously. But when I went to the Oakland Raiders, I said, what is this, man? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I said, how y'all running this over here? Like, mm. This ain't what I'm used to. This ain't, this ain't no structure. This is, not what I, this is not a winning culture. And that's why it's not having been a lot of success over there. It's not a winning culture. The facilities ain't a winning culture, right? The coach at the time wasn't a, wasn't a winning culture coach, right? Didn't know how it was supposed to look. It was his first opportunity to be a head coach. Right. So I understand what Miko was saying from that standpoint. You're coming from one of the best coaches and best quarterbacks and one of the best organizations 
organization since Andy Reid has been there, knowing how a championship organization is ran to Robert Sala, who was his first time, and you have a veteran player, and he's kind of like, Aaron Rodgers, help me. How is this supposed to look? I definitely understand what he's saying, but, I mean, he's, he's right. Did, 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 real quick, you didn't like it, though, right? You didn't nah. like it. What did you like about it? Only, uh, I only, I didn't like that there wasn't it to not like. I didn't like that he spoke at all because the reason is, is like, Miko, you, you sitting up here, boy. You on a, you on a, you on a throne. Uh -huh. You've been to four Super Bowls in yeah. five years. You, you got, got three score, rings. You got, you got three last rings. Point to... Like, what you even speaking on them for? They're relevant. They, they anonymous. They, well, they, oh, 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 hold on, hold on. To his defense, right? Him. They asked him a question. No doubt. No doubt. Okay. No doubt. So like, I'm not mad for answering the question, but you just look disgruntled. Anytime I talk about the Eagles, people be like, Acho, it's just because the Eagles cut you. I'm like, bro, I paid more in taxes than the Eagles paid me. I'm not mad. <laughs> like, I'm really not. But people will just find a reason to be like, oh, you just disgruntled. Thomas Morstead, 37-year-old punter for the New York Jets, he said, and I quote, be careful getting information from disgruntled former employees. Getting beat out by a rookie free agent after being guaranteed millions of dollars is tough to deal with. Entitlement is a killer of opportunity. You have to earn it every year. So after Thomas Morstead heard about Miko Hardman, he's taking a shot at Miko who, saying, who you disgruntled. The punter. Who is this? We read what the punter said. Okay. We don't now even talk to punters. The punter? The punter? Punter ain't a part of the team. Punter ain't a part of the team. 16 years. Don't he, he don't have a voice. There's only one kicker I ever... The punter like only that, one. dog. The what's, punter uh, part of the system. What's, what's Matt, Matt McAfee? Oh, uh, he's a punter, yeah. He's the only punter I like. Because he got swag and all that. I like, I like him. Them other dudes, unless you a kicker winning games, yeah. even them, they don't even have a voice. Justin, Justin Tucker, Tucker, he had a voice. Oh, other dudes, I'm like, you a kicker. Listen, I hear you. The what? punter has been there a while. Right? Punter. He's been in the league a while. He ain't been in the league. He's been in league using freaking one Ooh. foot and five toes. <laughs> Here, here's the One problem. Foot five toes. <laughs> Where, where's the... Ooh, come on, man. Where's the results from the Jets? Mm. Where's the results? There are none. Oh. There are none. So I want to hear, I, I'd love to hear the case that you're going to make why McColl shouldn't be saying this. First of all, I have no problem with him saying this. Again, we, 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 we want to interview, we wanna interview wrong. athletes. We want them to be honest. We want them to give us real responses and get insight into what's really happening in the league so that we're getting it from firsthand accounts. And then when they talk about it, we're upset that they answered the question and didn't just give us some, some canned response. He's telling you what his experience was. And we know that the Jets are terrible. We know that they are dysfunctional. We don't have to guess. We didn't need him to say any of this to go over everything that I didn't already said. I didn't learn anything about the Jets. Crazy. What did I learn about the Jets? We know that they built everything through Aaron Rodgers. That's why they could never recover. That's why we were talking about Zach Wilson. Should they bring somebody in? You are supposed to coach now. You, there's a chance people could get injured. I don't know. Aaron Rodgers... Even if he didn't pop his Achilles, was there a chance that he might miss a game or two just off of sheer age? Yeah. Like, isn't that a possibility? Mm. Every great team has had to use their backup at some point. This is, I don't even want to hear the excuses about, oh, it's a, it's a new, he's been there three years. How can they new? What are the excuses? And when you look around the league, you see coaches step up and do incredible things with so much less. Mm -hmm. They that's have what, and that's great they talent deals. in New York. They have great talent in New York. You telling me that what 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 they're doing is excusable when you have Mike Tomlin doing what he's doing in Pittsburgh? Now, granted, ain't no comparison to Pittsburgh and the New York Jets. Don't even bother making a statement about it. There's no <laughs> comparison, no comparison whatsoever. It's a whole different league. But Mike Tomlin's doing that. Kevin Stefanski's doing that with the Cleveland Browns. And we don't think it's a particularly functional yeah. organization. And he's winning coach of the year, going off five different coaches. D'Amico Ryans has a rookie quarterback. He's a rookie head coach and a rookie quarterback with a roster that none of us thought anything of. It's inexcusable what goes on with the New York Jets. And we constantly talk about the New York Jets. Why? What is the excuse? Then who are y'all... Uh, well, go ahead. Real quick. This is how I knew the, the Jets was a desperate team. Uh-oh. Right? Because coaching, if I'm a coach and I got good players around me, I'm going to win with these, with these players because I'm a good coach. So I, let's go Andy Reid for a second, right? I don't think if, if the Chiefs wanted to get Chris, let's say Chris Jones wasn't there, but he was that good, we want to have him. If Chris Jones said, I want to come here, but hey, listen, I need you to sign my, my middle linebacker I rock with because, yo, I get better with him. Yo, I want you to sign my defensive end because, yo, I make better plays when he's there. What you think Andy Reid and Brett Veach are going to tell you? We got this. They're going to say, thank you for everything. Good luck next year. Right? When, it, when, it, when, when I seen the Jets do that, that's how I let me know that either they're desperate or they're not. They're a bad ran organization. Mm -hmm. That stuff like that, you can't win. Andy Reid said, look, 
Yeah, hell, I want some great wide receivers. You think I don't? But you know, I'm going to coach these guys the best I can, and we're going to win games. So and not only win games, they won a championship so with the great most great. drops in football. Why the Jets can't do that? Huh? You, when you sign these old, I can't yeah. even, I don't want to curse, but don't these curse. old wide receivers, and I don't, don't disrespect to them because they, are, they, they were good in their day. Yes, sir. They, they not no team. starters. And if Aaron Rodgers were there, they would not get a contract. Mm. That boy made, Lazar made four years, 44 boy, million, man. something like that. Are you kidding me? Woo. Are you, you, and what year? And what, and what day and age? Mm -hmm. This one. My point is being, <laughs> my point is this. When you're a good team and you're a good coach, you're not about to let somebody strong harm you and make you do something you don't want to do. I'm going to coach these guys I got here, and we're going to try to win games. That's why when, when McCole's speaking, it's like, yo, it's bigger than what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. That's like if I'm in two different apartments, I'm trying to get a place to live at. I go to one spot, I'm like, yo, this place is nice. We got the pool, we got the maze. Got a... And I go to some other spot, like, yo, it's man, it's, it's kind of, uh, I seen two roaches looking at me like, yo, you got to live here? <laughs> this is all he's speaking of. That's it. He's all, and he didn't call out any players, which was That's true. I, I think in this situation, he's just speaking on his experience. Speaking facts. I have came from a very ran organization with a Hall of Fame coach and a Hall of Fame quarterback, right. and it did not look like this. Just like when I left places and Aaron Rodgers wasn't the quarterback, I'm looking at him like, why you ain't throwing that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know it may look like I ain't open, but with 12, I'm over, like, you know... And they're like, come on, man. Like, he ain't, he ain't throwing that. But I came from that, and I'm expecting that over here. He's come from a great organization, and you're expecting that over here, and you're not going to get that. And it's the coach, it's the organization, just how it's ran. It's not bad what he's saying. That's just the facts of what hey, he's saying. Hey, this James, organization is ran better than that one, period. Uh, you know, and this is a great topic for us, because you know you love Aaron Rodgers. I, I do. You playing with Aaron Rodgers, you feel like that, right? Yeah. Imagine if you played for Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes. Which they're not saying. 12, talent wise. I'd be saying the same. You have I'll more stats and you have more rings. You have more rings. Oh, family. Well, speaking of quarterback play, Dak Prescott, he is on the brink of signing a long term <laughs> extension. Sadie, Sadie Dak's going to sign a long term extension. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.